First, what you want to do is get the large number 3 bit screwdriver and you want to remove the screw and locking nut. You're going to have to repeat the process for the second screw and locking nut. It should come off anytime now. Anytime now. Maybe if you tug on it. Maybe. And there it is. All right. As you can see, this is the damaged area right here. Okay, now you want to slide the truss bars out of the corner pieces to reveal the small screws inside. And there's that one right there. Okay, so this is where you use the small number one bit screwdriver to remove the screw that's connecting the corner piece to the leg. So unless you're using a drill, uh, it's going to take you a few seconds to take off the screw. And there we go. There's a screw right there. With the same small screwdriver, you want to remove the screw that's on the other side, as you can see right there. Now you'll notice that the screw isn't exactly where the other one was. Uh, this one is to the side of where the truss bar should connect to. But it should be able to uh, be removed uh, fairly easily. Now that both of the screws are off, you want to remove the corner piece from the leg. It's going to require a bit of force, but if you wiggle it off, it should come off. If it's too difficult, you may need to use a rubber mallet. With the damaged piece off, you can now place the new corner piece onto the leg. You want to press down firmly on it, and if it's too difficult for you, you may need to use a rubber mallet again. Next, you want to replace the small screws that connect the corner piece to the leg. Again, this may take a short while unless you have a drill that you can use. Now you want to make sure that these are fairly secure, so make sure they're nice and tight, but not too tight. And make sure to repeat this step for the other side. Now that the corner piece is secure, you can slide the truss bars back into place. Make sure the holes in the truss bar align with the holes in the corner piece. And when you have it nice and aligned, you want to slide the screw right in through there. Like so. It may take a little wiggling, but just kind of press it firmly and it'll go through. Lastly, place the locking nut behind the screw, hold it in place, and use a screwdriver to secure it. Make sure to repeat this step for the other truss bar. And once you're done with that, you've completed replacing the corner piece. Congratulations, and thank you for watching.